Alright, so starting with Mega Man versus Rob. Rob is uh, actually a really good uh, a character that's really good at pushing advantage. Uh, but Mega Man's honestly not that shabby himself at doing so. Uh, these two are just gonna be playing around each other's projectiles for most of the match, and they're gonna be looking for any opportunity that they can to really press advantage. And if they have the opportunity to steal the other person's projectile and take advantage, they're gonna do it as they can. They're very good, actually, a very good placement of the gyro by the Nav. Uh, not managed to catch Josh, and Josh though. Uh, if we had gotten the gyro drop the way that he wanted, we would have gotten the dagger guaranteed. Because the gyro does push you uh, into whatever way the person who Z dropped faces it when it hits you. Again, you see them like trying to, to either set up their uh, either trying to set up themselves or trying to get some kind of uh, something ready so that they can take uh, so that they can get started. But if they take too long or if they miss time, it, the other person has a great chance to kind of hop in and either do a lot of damage or just take the stock. Very nice Z drop. Uh, again, taking advantage of the that mechanic, Gyro, where whatever way you're facing when you Z drop it. Interesting side beats to come back up to the stage from uh, Josh. I'm not really sure if he's hoping that Mav is Maverick Hunter is gonna just like, mistakenly go back in, go into him. And awesome DI, Maverick Hunter clearly knows like what he's doing to match up. Uh, he is starting to get close to the point though where if he gets grabbed by uh, by Josh, it's gonna be a stock regardless of what he does. Because he's not going to have to go for uh for for a uh, throw confirm, he can just straight up do up there open soon. Yep, there he is. He's in that percentage. But Maverick Hunter was ready for the uh, the grab. And Bob dodged perfectly to punish. So Josh now he's at a he's, he's definitely a kill for himself. Oh, be very careful. Uh, Mega Man is not the kind of character that you want to just be taking straight hits from and help it because he will. Yep, there you go. Good side B. Uh, managing to catch the get up. However, he's still, uh, Josh is still a kill percent, he's not, he has to be very cautious with how he, uh, approaches the next, like, few seconds of the match. Because if he, uh, if he does any really bad approach, it's just gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a first and second stock. Oh, man. Yeah, Mega Man Forward are getting a buff in the uh, getting a buff between Smash Four and Ultimate. Uh, it's a very good move now for Mega Man to actually finish out stocks. Uh, Mega Man isn't really stuck trying to land an up smash or an up tilt if he has an opponent directly in front of them or going for back air. He does have really good options now to kill from both sides. And the character is really dangerous now uh, when he's approaching in the air like that. Oh, gyro managing to push off Maverick Hunter, but uh, Josh going directly for the Gyro unfortunately gave up a lot of space control doing that. And yeah, Josh is uh, at kill percent. If he can't find a kill quickly, this is going to definitely keep going out of control. And that might be. Nope, not quite it. I was expecting kind of an. Uh, I was almost expecting like an up smash or something there. The rock probably would have been too heavy. Alright. Is Maverick Hunter going to go for some kind of confirm here, or is he just going to go for a raw kill? Oh, very nice read on the uh, immediate. Josh, he actually uh, he saw, probably saw that Maverick Hunter was going for like these super quick mashups and managed to get up quickly enough to get the, the hits that he needed to get the stock. I thought I saw like the first frame of upside there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Maverick Hunter kind of uh, betting that Josh was either going to just run up or roll into his up smash. And the fair again, taking the stuff with 
Uh, Maverick Hunter doesn't really use Fair that much, so it seems to be fresh most of the time. Uh, back air is really like a thing that he puts out to lay on damage quickly. Very good job from uh, Maverick Hunter. It was a very commanding um, match for him. And hopefully he's going to be able to kind of carry that energy forward to the next uh, match of the set. Well, Maverick Hunter and uh, both of them are staying their respective characters. Now let's see what we get on the stream next. Three, two, oh, we're going to one, FD go. Castlevania. Okay. Can you tell me, is it uh, is it Omega? I believe it's Omega, and they call Triplatzitas or something like that. For some reason, I forgot what the term for version of. Uh, stages are. Oh man, uh, not quite getting the sweet spot on the, uh, the, uh, the Shoryuken. Map wasn't able to take the stock. Despite like taking like crazy amounts of damage, Josh is still like getting in these little uh, hits. He's gotta be very careful about um. He's gotta be really careful about how he jumps out of shield and how he gives opportunities to Maverick Hunter to get those kills. Because he uh, it seems like a lot of the time Maverick Hunter is just guessing when he's gonna jump or when he's gonna go for a uh, for an approach, and that's where he's getting a lot of these damage kills from. That is one thing about Rob is that like he has like a decent ground game, but he honestly shines really well in the air, and he has like a nair that's really safe. Uh, that's safe on landing, but you still gotta get up there first. Oh, and a really well placed uh, gyro there, getting the stock for, uh, for Josh. If he had realized that Navicon was too far out there to actually make it back, he could avoid a little bit of damage from Metal Blade. But you know, not not a big thing. Three characters, heaviest Rob. I, I can't agree with Josh uh, throwing out those side bees. And we had a communication error. Is that on my end? It might have been. Nope. Someone actually disconnected. I wonder what happens. Let me see what's going on. Let's get in contact with these guys. Yeah, it looks like. Yep, it looks like we lost. Um, Josh again. Talking to them right now. Good morning, yes. Hello. Good morning, yes. Oh, hey, what's up? Not much. Oh man, I got disconnected too. Oh, you did too? That's crazy. This match still going on? I only caught like the first of it. Oh yeah, we're gonna actually have to remake the arena because the arena got shut down. Okay. It'd be like that, that though. Yeah, that can happen. This is a little mock just. What happened? Are you there? Devin, speak. Mm. 
Okay, I mean, join the arena that I just made, because everybody gets disconnected one after another. Oh, uh, the 3001 channel's not up, or...? We're not using that. Oh. Okay. You didn't got I it? Think, I think I see it now. <laughs> yes, guys, yes, just no. bear with us. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. We're going to have Maverick Carter and Jump it up from the beginning of the, uh, the match that they just played. Uh, it'll be just a second. Once we have Munoz joining us. What's up, yo? It's time for commentates. Time for the commentator. Time for the commentator. It's the time for the commentator. Commentator. Out here on the Weefy. It's not Weefy, it's Mad Boy. That dude, Weefy. It's not Weefy, it's Mad Boy. Whatever. It's really called Xeno Wi Fi. There's no Wi Fi here. Only land. Oh. Let's use your Ethernet cable, guys. Come on. We restart game two. We're going the same. It's the same the exact oh, same moment. <laughs> but he agreed to restart the the, the match because like it was not super evenish, but it was evenish enough where and it wasn't like anyone's fault. So it was like, yeah, let's just we do this. Yo, Rob, Rob, Mega Man, like two robots, man. It's crazy. Two salts, the combos from the Rob over here. Get that nice, uh, nice damage. He's playing a lot smoother now. Getting his conversions, hitting him, breaking zone. Very tough on Mega Man too. Because Mega Man has so much to keep you up. Ooh, it's crafting. I want to Josh actually on, getting uh, like a much better start this time than yeah. uh, the last set in the last few matches. He was having a little trouble trying to go for like air and deflect. And it's not really working out for him. And then he got hit. Something I, or I don't, yeah, something I don't really like from Josh is that he keeps doing side like, yeah. up at the ledge uh, when there isn't an indicator that Mad like trying to rush off the stage, rush off the ledge. Yeah. So it's causing a lot of stocks and a lot of there's a lot of damage overall. Literally, he's guessing on his uh, the zoning pattern. Looks good leaf shield to get some damage in. And a metal blade? Oh, caught him off guard. Caught him slipping. Yeah, Bev doing a good job of uh, holding ground here and keeping his uh, proper distance against Rob. That <laughs> one up air is going to take it. Yep. This has really been the, uh, the theme of the match is that Maverick Hunter is able to get like these really good turns on uh, Josh, but Josh has been going, has been killing like super late in the raw, because he hasn't been able to really secure the stock in any uh, good way. He can do damage, like super well. I would well. say, <laughs> the, that recovery is goaded right there, just, he, he air dodged and went all the way down there and still made it like all yeah. the way up there, pretty good. If he has like fairly low black zones, like it doesn't, uh, if you air dodge below the ledge, you're not going to necessarily die because you have the recovery to get back up, unlike the beast too. Yeah, or like, battlefield in the sense where you're just going to watch your character fall all the way down there. Ooh, the up air! Ooh, the rush oh, up God. air! He, he died! <laughs> you're evil for that one, that was pretty, that was pretty sick. That's something I'm never going to take it. Uh, that was a good, uh, that was actually what a really good What a setup, that was so sick.